Okay, we're rolling. Uh, I wanted to explain the dark reactions or the light independent reactions of photosynthesis real quickly. The main things that you need to know is what happens to the ATP and the NADPH that is produced during the light reactions or the light dependent phases of photosynthesis. So here is the Calvin cycle, which is the main thing that happens in the light independent phases or the dark reactions. So basically, uh, this is where carbon dioxide right here is going to get used during photosynthesis. It's used for the Calvin cycle during the dark reactions and this is essentially the source of carbon that's going to be used to produce the glucose that comes out or is produced at the end as the main product of photosynthesis. Uh, so again, what's going to happen here is um, there's an enzyme here called Rubisco that is a big part of making the Calvin cycle work. And um, basically the ATP from the light reactions is going to provide some energy and be converted to ADP. And again, later in the cycle over here, these are two places where you'd see the ATP releasing its energy um, for this cycle and here's the NADPH which is going to get uh, oxidized and release some energy as well to drive this cycle. So basically you have three molecules of carbon dioxide that get processed in the Calvin cycle and at the end those are going to uh, exist as glucose C6. Try to draw this for you. It's pretty hard to draw with the mouse finger. 12 O6. Glucose. So essentially the energy that came over is ATP and NADPH ends up locked up in the molecule of glucose. That's the energy carrier. That's basically it.